I have seen many posts on the ManyChat uh, business page and Facebook, as well as my chatbot customers asking questions. What's the difference between a system field, a custom field, and a bot field? In this short video, I'm going to make it very clear of where to use them and what their benefits are as a chatbotter. Hello, I am Smarty and welcome to the ProEdge Marketing Channel. I appreciate you being here. On this channel, I'm focusing on technology tips and strategies for realtors and investors to make this the best decade ever. So let's get in it and let me go into ManyChat and explain the differences between system, custom, and bot fields. Okay, now in ManyChat, I'm going to show you exactly where to access the system fields, how to access your custom fields and define custom fields, and lastly, how to set up your bot fields and where they interplay in a flow. So inside of ManyChat, if I just start with the audience and I pull up my record, this is called a subscriber record. So this is a lead. So in here, it pulls in the profile picture from Facebook. But on the left-hand side, these are the, uh, the some of the custom fields that ManyChat tracks. So get, because it's sitting on Messenger, uh, they're able to get uh, the, the gender of the person. So obviously I'm male, I speak English, uh, my phone number and email or system fields in many chats. So as it's collecting, the bots collecting phone numbers and emails from your leads, uh, they are being stored in these system fields. And that's how many chat does SMS and email marketing through those system fields that are being collected by the individual. They also have a, a field to track whether they opted in for SMS and email. And then other system fields include last interaction, obviously the full name of the person, the last name, first name of the person, all those are gleaned as uh, or, I'm sorry, system fields that many chat tracks. The custom fields are tracked at the individual person as well. Down here, there's a section called custom fields and things like what their action is, they're looking to sell a house, or maybe they, the buyer told uh, the bot what their budget was when the, uh, dealing with a Facebook ad and the bot's collecting information. So $600,000 is the buyer's budget here. So these are all uh, the custom fields in the system. Where you set up those custom fields is under settings. And then if you go down here to fields, this is where all those fields reside. To create a custom field, there's a blue button. You can give it a name. So I'll call it um, timing, uh, buyer timing. I'll go ahead and put in uh, the timing. And over in here, I can uh, define whether it's a text field, if it's a, a number field, if it's a date field that I'm collecting, all that can be defined in the custom field definition. In this case, it's gonna be text because I'm gonna basically give them a choice in the bot. What is the timing of your, your, your wanting a new house? And they may say within six months, within three months, immediate, you know, whatever their timing may be. So that's how easy it is to create a custom field in the many chat system. Now a bot field is a little different. Uh, a custom field is stored at the individual. So the buyer, the seller, the agent, whoever's interacting to the bot. A bot field is tracked at the bot itself. I call these system variables. So uh, what you can do with a bot field, and I, do, I highly encourage you to use bot fields in your bot design, in that things like my name, my phone number, my email, my website, my Facebook page, all those that data points, the brokerage I belong to, I can set those up as what I call bot fields. And down here, you'll see I have a number of fields that I've defined. And if you define it the same way as a custom field, you, what type of field it is, and you give it a name. But here I have like what my email is, my company, I'm with EXP. And then down here, my Instagram, my LinkedIn account, my phone number, my website, all the data that I want to have available here in the bot. Now, why would I want that? So in, in the bot world, when you're creating bots, let me show you how that interplay happens. So on this business card, let me show you how we use uh, the system fields as well as my bot fields to make the interaction stronger. And then I'll also show you how to use a custom field when the bot collects something from the buyer or seller. And you're gonna pull all three of those together in a conversation. So if I hit publish and, and click on this uh, first box here, uh, you'll see up in here, I have a uh, first name. Uh, first name is a system field. So if you hit these little uh, squiggly lines here, uh, you'll see all the custom fields that ManyChat supports about the person. So if I want to pull in their phone number or um, their page ID, uh, their last name, but you know, I, I have access to all those fields that ManyChat's tracking. So um, in this case, 
I'm just pulling in their first name. So it says, hey, John, uh, I love meeting new people. Down in here, though, you're going to see my your fields. So uh, when I'm introducing myself to somebody through the messaging, through the bot, I want to introduce myself. So, so I say, hi, I'm your chatbot name. One of my bot fields is give, allowing you to define a name for your chatbot. So it's introducing itself. And I'm first name, best friend. So it's going to take my name, whatever I put in the bot field, John or Smarty, uh, Smarty's best friend. And then you're seeing like area coverage. So I can tell them as a realtor where I cover uh, in the marketplace, my real estate services. Um, so I use those liberally. And then down below, you'll see I'm pulling in the full name, company, email, and so forth, along with those actions. So that's how system fields and bot fields can be used in a flow to make it much more engaging and for fields like first your name and your phone number, you don't want to type them into every uh, flow you're building. You want to pull that in from a system uh, bot field that you've defined uh, inside of ManyChat. Now, let me quickly show you how we use uh, custom fields in a flow. So if I look at uh, buyer uh, preferences, so uh, I have a flow here to get my buyer preferences. Uh, if I zoom all the way in here, and first, first, let me edit this flow. One of the questions I'm asking uh, the end user, the buyer that's interacting to my bot flow is what is your price range? So uh, when they're first coming into the bot and they're talking to me about buying a house, um, I'm using this uh, as a way to collect information about the buyer to pass back to me as a realtor so I can have a more engaging conversation with them when I do meet with them. So uh, in, when you define a, a a field here down in many chat, they have what's called a user input box. So uh, if you're going to collect data into a custom field, you want to use one of these custom input uh, boxes here. When you click on it up in here, you'll see what's the reply type. So you're going to get a number, a first name, an email. In this case, I'm just going to get text. And then down here, there's a box that says save response to a custom field. So I have a custom field around budget. So if I just do buyer's budget, um, we'll look for it, there it is right there, the buyer's budget. I'm able to now say when I collect this data, um, I'm gonna store whatever value they give me into a field called buyer's budget. And now I can replay that field back to them later on and say, just to confirm, you said that you have a budget of 300,000, you're looking for three bedrooms, two baths, and you're looking for a home in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. All those fields the bot gathered, I can then replay that back in a dialogue with the end user and have them confirm or redo their requirements before I pass them into the next channel. So as you can see, the power of system fields, custom fields and bot fields, make building bots that much more engaging so that you have a delightful experience for buyers and sellers that are interacting to you as a realtor and investor. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel as I'm committed to provide actionable insights and technology tips each and every week for you to make this the best decade ever. I hope you enjoyed it.